everybody, welcome to Cap at Home. Today we have a presentation for you called Principles of Art, Pattern, and Color. Uh, I'm going to show you a short uh, PowerPoint video and then I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw a pattern. Uh, you will need paper, colored pencils, and a pencil sharpener. All right, uh, let's check out the video. All right, principles of art, pattern, and color. Pattern is an underlying structure that organizes surfaces or structures in a consistent, regular manner. Pattern can be described as a repeating unit of shape or form, but it can also be thought of as the skeleton that organizes the parts of a composition. Uh, Pierre Mondrian was a French or a Dutch painter. Uh, known for his abstract paintings, Mondrian lived from 1872 to 1944. This painting uh, is called Broadway Boogie Woogie and was completed in 1943 and is in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City's permanent collection. Notice the repetition of squares and colors, red, yellow, and blue. Another artist called Keith Haring also did work with patterns. He lived from 1958 to 1990. He was known for his gay rights and AIDS activism. He was a pop artist, graffiti artist, and sculpture. His work is based on chalk outlines of human bodies and stick figures. His artistic influences were Jean-Michel Basquiat, Frank Stella, Andy Warhol, and Roy Lichtenstein. And that image was called Acrobats too. Uh, this image is called White Cube, and it's by Sarah Morris. She was born in 1962. She went to Brown and Cambridge and did her independent study at the Whitney. Sarah works in film as well as paints. She is currently working in France, Brazil, Germany, and Austria. And her paintings investigate social, urban, and bureaucratic typologies. So what do all of these works have in common? Uh, they are large scale, they are simple and have deliberate color scheme. The repetition of shapes is also in common and they emphasize bold lines. All right, so uh, let's do our own pattern drawing. So for this, you're just gonna do a blind choice of about five colored pencils. And this is the one that I was working on earlier today. So I'm just going to close my eyes and choose five colored pencils here. And I've got Silver, light brown, gold, dark grass green, and cobalt dark. So they all look pretty sharp except for the cobalt dark. So I'm just going to sharpen that briefly. And while I do that, I'm going to think of some shapes that I want to use in repetition. So I probably will draw some triangles, some hexagons, and maybe some stars. So I'm just sharpening this blue pencil here. So to get started, since I already have the blue pencil in my hand, I'm going to draw a few triangles and I'm going to let them kind of be in different areas and they're all going to have slightly different angles. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to stick with the number seven and I'm going to draw some stars.
Let them be different sizes and shapes. And now I'm going to do a couple of spirals. Seven. Ooh, silver. So I'm going to use some different types of forms. I'm going to think about maybe using sort of something a little bit more organic. I'm going to use the green to kind of back, uh, to kind of do a background for everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace all of my shapes that I've already got. And I already like how this is coming together. And when you do your own pattern, you can use whatever shapes you like. And I hope that you enjoy this project. Feel free to like or comment to this video. And if you do your own pattern drawing, we'd love to see it posted in the comment section. Just adding the background here, this nice bold green color. So I repeated some triangles in blue, some stars in gold, sort of an organic shape in silver. And I have some light brown spirals. And the green is kind of becoming the structure of the background. It's just going to fill everything in. And I like how simple it is. Just simplistic. It can be really relaxing to do different art projects.
and you see pattern used on all sorts of different mediums. You can make clothing patterns for fabric. I even use these, one of these patterns on the background for the PowerPoint presentation I just showed you. So I have a cup here I need to sharpen my pencil into. Just trying to keep my pencil shavings contained so they're easy to clean up. I really like using colored pencils because you can get really precise with your lines. One of the things all of the artists that I just presented about, they all used really bold lines. I know sometimes when you get a new box of colored pencils or crayons, you kind of like, you see all the color options and you're like really excited to use all of the different colors and just make a drawing that, or an image that it's just really, really colorful. But sometimes it's nice to keep it simple too. That's why I like to do the blind color challenge when I use any of my different drawing or painting tools. Because it just kind of helps me focus a little bit more. Sometimes a lot of colors can kind of just get a little bit confusing or distracting. I love every color very much. So sometimes it's difficult to choose. But it's nice to keep it simple sometimes, too. I really like using this silver. It's super shiny and iridescent. And I feel really lucky that even with my eyes closed, I pick gold and silver. I don't normally do that on purpose, but it's fun to work with the metallic colors.
for my last drawing. I didn't have any metallic colors. These star shapes are kind of funky. I kind of like how they're all a little bit different. can be kind of a meditative process. You just kind of go with your design and follow through once you have your decision made. You just kind of let your plan Sort of guide all of your actions. And just relax and enjoy coloring. And here's my pattern. Super simple, super relaxing. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for our next Cap at Home video and have a great day.